Hey, what's up guys? Got a new update here for ESPN 2K4's editor. Um, been doing a lot of work. And just to recap, for those of you guys who have used the editor in the past, there was a very major flaw, uh, a, a huge flaw in the way that the, that the editor was bringing in the roster files and the teams. And in the previous version, um, I was never able to figure out a way to find out how teams and players match up. So basically how, how players are organized on teams. So, so what you would see is you would see players from one team showing up on another team. And so when you're looking at the, the editor, let's say you pull up my favorite team, the Bills, and you're looking at, let's say the quarterbacks, you know, you might see Aaron Rodgers in there, or you may not even see quarterbacks. Because the way that I was doing it before was, um, since I didn't know how, how the players mapped to the teams, I was just taking all of the player names and grabbing the first set of chunks and uh, porting them into the teams. So like the first, you know, 50 something players, I would port towards team one, then towards team two, etc. So the players, wouldn't really align with the teams, especially if you start doing trades. When the um, when you do trades in the system or you move players around inside of the 2K4 editor, uh, 2K4 game, excuse me, the editor won't do trades and still won't do trades. But when you do trades inside of the actual game, then that's when the names would really even get worse and they will be all over the place. So. It was very distracting to try to use the editor when the team's players weren't set up. Well, with this update, 1.4.00, I was able to get the players mapped to the correct teams. And that includes trades. So like if there's trades that happen in the game, and I tested it, the players will show up on the right teams. So pretty cool, man. I'm excited guys about this because I think it's going to be a lot cleaner. It may not seem like a huge um, type of type of update because there's no new real new modes or features. But the fact that this is cleaned up is for the foundation of the editor is huge. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and show you. There's a couple more updates I'm going to show you here, but we'll start off by bringing in the latest file from uh, from Gil Goldberg here. Um, and I always mispronounce the name. It's either Gold, Gil Goldberg or Gil Boldberg. So he's out there making rosters. Shout out to him. He's doing a lot of work for you guys. He's made some 2K5 rosters in the past. And now he's sticking to 2K4 to get some new life in this game. And the editor was, you know, kind of inspired with a lot of his efforts. So um, shout out to him for all his work. So here's the latest um, that I have from him, the post-draft roster. And now, as you can see, all the players that belong to the Bills are lining up. If I show the QBs, you're going to see Castle, Manuel, and Taylor. And they're all lining up as they should. Um, one thing to note, I worked really, really hard on trying to get the depth charts inside of this 2K4 roster editor. But the way that 2K4 does it is totally different. 2K5 was a lot easier. Every player had a depth attribute and it was very simple to, to line out the uh, depths. But the way that the 2K4 roster works is the players all line up in like an order. Like they're showing like all the players in a list and that list is part of the way that players attach to teams. And what they do is they move around the pointers to those players, depending what I think is happening. They move the pointers in that list to the player's depth. So like if player number one in the list was a running back and he was the first in the depth chart, maybe let's say player number 15 was a running back and he was number two in the depth chart. Well, what'll happen is if you move two to one, in the depths in the game all it does is change the pointer for the first guy and now points to the second guy and then in the 10th player in the list 
his pointer will now point to that first guy. So it's definitely a lot different. I don't know how or why the hell 2K did this, but that's the way it works from what I can see. So I took a good chunk of time to try to fit it in, but I couldn't get it there yet. So I'm still gonna try to see what I can do for the depth charts just to keep uh, you know keep it in the in the roster if I can or get it in the roster. But uh, unfortunately for right now, guys, we didn't include that because <laughs> it just it's just a lot of work and I'm still kind of um, trying to tinker around with it. But back to the editor, you're gonna see all the players show up. Now, I've done some light testing. Obviously, you guys can give me feedback if you see anything that's broken. I know Gil will. He'll shoot me. Um, he'll he'll keep me keep me on my toes. If there's an issue, he'll he'll let me know. So um, feel free to do some testing, Gil, and let me know. But all the players are showing up here, which is which is nice. Um, another part of it that I wanted to show you was the search. I don't know if you guys remember before, but. The search, I think it was locking down a few of these um, search filter types. So you couldn't do years pro, you couldn't do position, you couldn't do, I mean, you may have been able to do, do team, I can't remember. But I unlocked um, the ability to search by college if you wanted to do like all the, all the Alabama players, you'll get them all here. And as you can see, they are all from Alabama. So, kind of cool, um, but the next thing, the t second thing I wanted to show you guys, or third thing really, was the, uh, the teams. So, in addition to finding all of the players that belong to all the teams, I also added in the historic teams or the unlockable teams. So now, and with that too, by the way, just stepping back, the, the, the way that the players are being tied to the rosters, to the teams now, has totally cleaned it all up. I mean, even the free agents. So if you go to free agents now, you're gonna actually see, which is up here, you're gonna actually see the true free agents. And I checked this out in the game. These are all the real free agents that are in the game. So if you were to pull them up now, now you're gonna see all the free agents, whereas before, you would just get the last chunk of players that included the free agents, but it also included the unlockable teams, which was wrong. Now, the way that it works is you have the ability to get to the unlockable teams. I don't have them in the right click um, team pop up because it was just gonna be more work. I didn't feel like adding it in, but they are there. So if you just start scrolling around and we go to like the Vikings, I think it's the last team here. And you go to the right, now you're going to see the challengers. There's 42 players. Um, and by the way, speaking of players, the total players are now showing up correctly. So you're going to see that the total players in the system are showing up with the right numbers and they're all going to be different. Whereas before, I think I had them all set to like 53 or 54 and it's like, no, that was wrong. So much more accurate, much more um, precise and it's a 10 times better upgrade than I had before. So now you get the challengers. You have the two uh, take two interactive challengers here. As you can see, when you switch between the teams, when you get to the unlockable teams, it throws out the um, playbook and you really don't have any jerseys. So you're gonna notice that if you flip around. The, um, the next team is the Swamis. So you got them available for you if you want to um, show them. It's kind of interesting because <laughs> Gil's roster is actually showing people um, from, from the game. I think the, the Swamis is just a pick of certain players from teams. So if you change the QB for Miami, well, they'll show up on here because it's just the way that they, that they, I think that they pick them. Uh, it's not a bug or anything. It's just the way that this team was built. You got the uh, the alumni here, and and that's it. So I mean, you have more teams if you want to play around. The setting for that is here. You can do show all teams, very similar to Finn's editor. I use the same kind of design. Um, the only thing you're going to notice though is if you uncheck show all teams and you hit OK. 
and you were showing them before, you'll still see them until you log out and log back in with that file and then they won't show up anymore. So that's just one little thing, but I didn't want to waste time on that. So just an FYI for you guys. So that's it guys. Um, I hope you enjoy the update. I'm going to put a link in the comments here on where to download the latest version. It's 1.4.0.0 and happy editing guys. Um, hope you enjoy it. I'm going to get into playing this game. I have been so busy with the new site, the simhez.com site, all the editors. I'm toying around with some software development for making a new football game, but that's like a pipe dream. Um, I have some some networking things I'm doing with people and uh, and there's a chance I might start to do some of that. So. But I want to get back into gaming. I mean, I did all this stuff for game, for football game interests, and I'm going to start playing some seasons very shortly. But, um, you know, I'm trying to work for you guys, for the community, for myself, for, for just it's a hobby of mine and I enjoy it. But, um, you know, if any of you guys want to donate, go for it. Um, if not, that's cool too. This is all free. But uh, I do put a lot of time into this. It takes, it takes a lot of work. Um, and same thing with Gil, all the guys who make rosters. I mean, it takes a lot of work. So so go out and give five bucks, a dollar, whatever. I mean, we don't have any other um, football options right now other than one game. And we all know what that game is. And, you know, Dollar Junior, guys like that, Darth Destro, you know, those guys are making rosters out there. Wild Lions making a roster for Backbreaker. I know Neff was working on some things. I mean, donate. And you know, on, on here, you guys can make a donation uh, for my site or you know, for simhez.com. This goes towards all the stuff that I do for the editors. Um, I got a lot of work coming. You know, send me your requests. I know people are asking for backbreaker teams and I'm going to be getting that backbreaker roster working. Um, but I don't do it for the money. I do it for the pleasure and um, you know, but at the same time, this does take a lot of time, a lot of resources, and and it's uh, it's no easy task. So, anyways, I appreciate your time. Like, subscribe, leave me comments, hit me up with some requests. Um, I'll probably be working on contracts at some point because they're asking for the community. So, I'll try to add contracts in here at some point down the road. But. Um, Take a look at the, the game, the ESPN football game, still pretty dope. And, uh, and have fun playing your games. All right, peace.